Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. In today's video, I'm gonna take this old desk that I got for free, I'm gonna to try to chop it in half and make it into two brand new nightstands. I think this is gonna be a fun one, so if you wanna see this furniture makeover, just keep watching. Buckle in for an extreme furniture makeover. I got this desk for free from a neighbor and from the moment I saw it, I just knew that it needed to be two nightstands. It's been sitting in my garage forever and I'm finally tackling it. Today's video is sponsored by Ryobi. I'm gonna be using a bunch of their tools in this flip and stick around to the end because I'm gonna be giving away some of the tools that I use in this video. I started out by flipping this around and taking the back paneling off so I could see how everything was constructed. I saw that I needed to remove these two wooden bars to separate the pieces, so I grabbed my reciprocating saw and just sawed through both of these and pried them out. My original plan was to use the existing top and route the side that I'm cutting to match the rest of the trim around the desk. So I just marked all that off where I wanted to cut. And then I grabbed my circular saw to cut along where I marked. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know this is when this project took a complete turn in the opposite direction because once I cut through this top, I realized it was a hollow core top and it just had wood around the edging so that was not going to work you cannot route that it is you know just not real wood so i decided to rip it off it was pretty easy to pry off once i released some of the screws in the top so now that i can't use these tops my design is going to change a little bit i want to make these as boxy and modern as possible so i'm also going to cut and square off the bases I'm gonna start by prying off the trim on each of these individual boxes, and then I'm gonna mark it right below each drawer and square off all that extra trim. I'm using my circular saw to make these cuts, and it's a Ryobi tool, and it's part of the One Plus system, which is the 18 volt battery that is used with over 260 tools. So the same battery that I'm using with my drill and all the tools in this video, you can use in this one system, and it's great. and basically down to the studs here. Before I cut new tops for this, I'm gonna work on prepping the rest of the piece. I'm grabbing my lithium USB screwdriver. This thing is really cool. You can have it straight like this or like a little mini drill and it works really well. And I love the flashlight feature so I can see what I'm doing. And to charge this battery, you just charge it, plug it into like any USB port. So I'm just using this to remove all the hardware because this is super dated and I'm gonna fill these holes and do something else with these drawers. Okay, next up, I need to clean my nightstands and prep them for paint and primer. So I'm gonna be using the Ryobi Power Scrubber. It has a bunch of different attachment heads for all sorts of different things. This is probably a little overkill for cleaning furniture, but let me tell you, it did this really fast and I can see this brush getting into those really detailed pieces well. It would also work really well to clean your car, clean your house, your windows. So I'm definitely gonna be using this around the house and I'll let you know what I think of it. Once I got these cleaned, up with some soap and water. I'm just using some clean water to rinse away any soap residue. Now I'm measuring the opening at the top and the bottom of each nightstand because I'm going to cut a new piece to cover these up. For the bottom, I'm going to use MDF because it is cheaper than wood and I'm basically just going to have to seal the sides with a primer and then I'm going to paint it so I don't need wood on both of them and again it was cheaper so I'm just using my circular saw to cut this down to size. And for the tops, I got a laminated spruce panel board and I'm cutting that down to size. I wanted something with some grain in it because I'm going to trim out the front with pine lattice as well so I kind of want those to coordinate it will all make sense in the end so just hang tight I'm using my orbital sander and a medium grit sandpaper just to smooth everything out before I add my new tops and bottoms. I'm starting with the MDF on the bottoms and I'm using my 18 gauge brad nailer. This is the new brushless airstrike. I only nailed these in in the front and the back because the sides are plywood and it was holding really well. So I went ahead and did the other one and now I'm gonna attach the tops. 
I'm pretty obsessed with this brad nailer. I am used to having to have like a hose and the air compressor tank and getting all that stuff out and moving around with it. This is way easier. And again, it runs on that one plus system. So I'm just using the same battery that works with all my other tools. Now that I have those boxes built out, I'm just gonna work on some repairs. I gotta fill those huge gouges that I have on the side of the desk. So I'm just mixing up an all purpose putty. This stuff hardens really fast and it's really effective. So I like to use it for huge repairs like this. My cuts weren't perfect on the bases, so I had some gaps that I had to fill down there between the MDF and the base. And then I'm using a wood filler just to fill the nail holes on the tops. And I'm gonna push a little bit of that wood filler in between the seam of the frame of the nightstand and the new tops. I waited for everything to dry and then I'm using my orbital sander to sand everything down smooth. And then I'm also hitting up these tops and sanding them with a 220 so they are nice and smooth. After a lot of sanding, I'm using a damp cloth to wipe back all that dust. I bought some new feet for these off of Amazon and I decided to install them and mask them off before I painted because it would rise my pieces up off the ground to paint. So I'm just marking and drilling the holes where each foot is gonna go and then installing the hardware and installing the feet. Okay, we're looking a little bit more like nightstands. I'm gonna mask off these feet and then I'm gonna start priming. Since the bottom is MDF, I do need to seal that before I add any water-based products to it. So I grab some bin shellac based primer and I'm just gonna seal off the portions that are gonna be painted. It's also a great sealer for knots. So I hit those knots up as well. I'm grabbing that brad nailer again and I'm attaching the backs back on before I prime them. I'm gonna be painting these black, so I'm using my Bullseye 123 primer that is tinted gray because that will work better with a dark color. I thinned this out with some distilled water to the specifications on the can because I like my paints to be a little bit thinner when I'm spraying. I'm using my Wagner Flexio 3500 with my fine detail nozzle. I love to use this on furniture. It is just becoming, it's becoming my go-to you guys. It's really easy to spray. And since I'm going for a modern look on these, I want them to be really smooth. Now, typically you don't see me prime pieces. Why I am priming this piece is because I have done so many repairs on it. There's bare wood showing, um, there's lots of Bondo. So doing the primer is just gonna help my paint adhere really well and make everything nice and smooth and look really good. This primer is water-based, so it's gonna clean up really easily out of my gun with just soap and water. While my primer dries, I'm gonna take my orbital sander and sand all these drawers down to their natural finish. I'm gonna be adding cane to these and trimming them out as well. So I want a natural finish to be the background to that cane. I only ended up doing one coat of primer and when it was dry, I used a 500 grit sandpaper just to smooth it out and wipe back the dust. I'm gonna use Wise Owl One Hour Enamel in Jet Black to paint this. Now I have brushed this before, but this is my first time spraying it, but you don't have to add any water to this. It's a lot thinner than other furniture paints and you do not have to top coat. It is gonna to dry to a nice satin sheen that is going to be very durable and very wipeable.
this did look kind of textured going on, but it levels out beautifully, like so smooth. It almost looks like glass. I was really impressed with the way this sprayed. It takes about an hour to recoat it, and I ended up doing two coats, but honestly, except for a few spots, the coverage was amazing, and I probably could have got away with one if I didn't have those couple of spots I had to touch up. Okay, now it's time to finish off the drawers. I'm gonna cut off a piece of cane that I have and I'm gonna soak that for 15 minutes before I cut it up to size. So I'm measuring each drawer to figure out the size that I need to cut the cane. The cane doesn't have to go all the way to the edge because I'm gonna trim these pieces out. So I made a little template to make it easy on me and just traced out six of these. And then I'm using my power cutter to cut these out. I am loving this tool. It makes cutting craft materials like this is super easy and it uses that same USB lithium battery that I used on the screwdriver. And then I'm going to use that bread nailer again to attach the cane to each drawer. Here I'm using 5 8 inch nails so they don't go through my drawer front. Now that I have the cane attached, I'm going to use some pine lattice and miter the corners on it using my miter saw. I'm just cutting these to a 45 degree angle. I measured my length on one piece and then I set up a stop block so I can just cut 12 of these in a row because I need 12 long ones and then I need 12 short ones for the side. And since I'm framing this out and mitering the corners, I'm doing 45 degree angles and you just wanna flip your piece over so that all, both of your angles are pointing towards each other. Once all my cuts were done, I grabbed the orbital sander and a 220 sandpaper and just smoothed these out. I also did a first coat of paint on these before I attached them. So now I'm just taking my pieces and matching them up to make a nice frame around the drawer and I'm gonna clamp some of the pieces and then I will use the brad nailer to attach them. I sunk these nails so I'm gonna add a little bit of wood filler to them and after I get this all in I'm gonna take a damp cloth and wipe away the excess. Once this was dry I came in with a fine sanding paper and smoothed that out and I also taped off the cane to protect it and I'm gonna add a second coat of that paint. So this is gonna have full coverage, but you can still see that wood grain in there and it's gonna match the tops. And my trim doesn't sit completely flush on here because of the way the drawers are built. So I took that paint to kind of camouflage the sides of the drawers. Once that coat dried, I'm just gonna add my hardware. I decided to add it to the top of the frame. I'm gonna use these little gold knobs. So I'm just using my drill to drill those new holes and then I'll add the hardware. I'm so close to being done. I'm gonna remove all my masking from my feet and then install the hardware on the other nightstand. Mm -hmm. 
just to remind you here is the very traditional desk I started off with and here are my new modern nightstands that I made from this this is such a fun transformation I had so much fun using all the different tools to accomplish this look having an arsenal of power tools can really help you level up your furniture flipping and I'm gonna help you with that today because like I mentioned Ryobi is gonna do a huge giveaway with this video you have a chance to win the tools listed here that I used in this video it's super easy all you have to do is be subscribed here go subscribe to Ryobi's YouTube channel they're gonna teach you how to use all these wonderful tools and then leave a comment below letting me know which one you're most excited to win thanks for joining me for today's video I will be back soon with another project thanks for being here you guys and I will see you next time